Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be creating this screen that you can see here. It simply tells the player they've run out of time and it has a slightly red background as opposed to the blue one that we have for level completed. So basically what we're going to be doing, you know how the player actually has like a timer in the game at the moment, when the timer runs out we're going to have this pop up on the screen and it's going to let them go back to the menu if they want to and we've also got this so it's a red color instead of blue just so they know that you know they haven't done well just give them a bit of feedback which is always great so if you guys haven't downloaded the latest version of the resources already I definitely advise you go ahead and do so so you have all of the files all of the images that you need in particular it's this red sort of background that you're gonna need here anyway so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the engine and get started also in addition to setting up this screen I'm also going to be showing you how to get your mouse cursor to Displayed on the screen when this when this little user interface pops up and I'm also going to be doing the same thing for level complete so the first thing I'm going to do then like I said I'm going to go ahead and import the image in and I'm just going to go into my files and it's just red BG overlay that we're after and then just go ahead and import that into the engine we've done that and now just like we did for level complete we need to go ahead and create a user interface widget and we're just going to call this out of time for now and then go ahead and open this up and then once we have done this we are simply going to drag in an image so drag in an image and for the image brush we're going to select the file that we just imported red bg overlay and then we're just going to chuck that into the brush there once we've done this we want to stretch it out to the whole size of the screen just like this so give it a moment, we're going to stretch it out just like that. And then in terms of anchor points, we're also going to be anchoring this to all the way to the top if we need to. So just give me a second. So if we go to brush, slot appearance, anchor's not on there at the moment, but we, we're not going to worry about that for now. So cool, so we've got the image in there, that is all good. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually get this displayed on the screen. So if you guys recall, we did actually have our timer system set up in the game mode itself rather than the player, so we need to go ahead and open that up. And we need to get into here, and then we need to look at what we've got here. So at the moment we've already got this little print string here that tells the player that they've run out of time and that's just hooked up to some basic maths that we've got here and that's pretty much just checking whether or not the value is minus one and if it is it's going to go ahead and you know tell them they've run out of time and we also need to add on a little bit extra in here to pretty much pause the game you know just just to finish it off so let's go ahead and get, do this and get it on the screen so what I'm going to do from the true I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to create a widget. Once we've created this widget, we're also going to add it to the viewport and under the widget class, we're just going to search for out of time and we're going to do that. So I'm also going to make one quick change so that when we're testing this, it's a little bit easier to actually count down to, you know, the minimum tab down to zero basically, because at the moment the default time is one minute, five seconds or something like that. So I'm just going to get rid of the minutes value and I'm going to set that to zero. So it only takes five seconds for the player to run out of time. So if I go ahead and press play now, let's just go ahead and see if the red thing pops up on the screen. There you are and it's up on the screen and that's working good and you can also see it keeps creating lots of copies of this image. So we actually need to do the pause game functionality so it doesn't keep ticking, doesn't keep checking. So open up the game mode and after add to viewport just go ahead and type in pause game or, and then just it's set game paused and then just tick this to set it to true. Press compile and now if we press play give it five seconds to run through and hopefully it should be looking all good. So now you've just got the one copy and it's working perfectly fine and you can see the timer has also stopped there which is brilliant. Cool so now what we need to do then is we need to get the text on the screen to say you've run out of time, better luck next time and then we've also got to set up the return to menu button. So it's quite simple let's go ahead and just go into our user interface widget for out of time. And then just like before, we're going to add in some text. We're going to add in text for you've run out of time. Better luck next time. And then we're also going to be adding in a button 
for return to menu and we're going to be setting up the functionality in the same way we, as we did for the level complete screen. So starting with this text, let's just go ahead and type in you ran out of time. And I'm just going to stretch this little text box here and I'm also going to go ahead and increase the text size as well. Now you guys do, can go ahead and fine tune this a little bit better if you want to. Um, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple for now. So you ran out of time. And then the second piece of text is going to be better luck next time. Let's go ahead and set this better luck next time. Cool. Stretch out this little text box and then just make the text a little bit bigger as well. There you are. And then just pop it in place. And if I also recall, the ran out of time text was also in yellow and it was slightly bigger than this as well, just to get the point across and get the you ran out of time bit in the player's face so they know they need to read that first. So I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this, so color and opacity, and I'm going to give it this sort of yellowy orange sort of look there, and I'm going to make sure this text is nice and big. Keep changing the size, maybe up to 60, 70, something like that. There you are. You ran out of time. And we're going to hook this up. That is all good. Better luck next time. Let's add in a few little dots on there just to make it look good. And then lastly, we need to set up this button. So we're going to go into the styling and the appearance. And then we're just going to go ahead and set the, the hover, the normal, and the pressed to the image here for return to menu. And then set the margin to zero. Do the same thing for hovered. So just type it in, return to menu, margin zero. And then also pressed margin zero and then return to menu. There you are. That's looking good. Um, for the hovered, we need to give it a little bit of a tint just so you have a bit of feedback. So we're going to make this slightly yellow here. So just go down, make it yellow, press OK, and that's it. And now we just need to stretch it out. So that is all good. So do you want to return to menu? Pop that in, in place. That is fine. That is all good. So now we just need to add the functionality for the return to menu button. It's quite simple. All we've got to do is press and press and create an on-clicked event. And because we've got the main menu level already, we're just simply going to tell it to open level. And then if I recall, it's just called main menu level, but I'm going to check. So go to file, open level, and then it should just be main menu level. Let's hook this up. Main menu level making sure we've got this completely correct, otherwise it won't work at all. So main menu level, perfect. Let's go ahead and compile this, press play and test it, see what happens, make sure the button works. So give it a second. And there you are, you can see we've got our screen, you ran out of time, better luck next time. And whoops, so, and we can also press the return to menu button if we can get the mouse displayed on the screen. Now, by default, the mouse isn't going to pop up on the screen. So we actually need to do some magic just to make it pop up. And we're also going to be doing the same thing for the level complete screen as well. So inside of your out of time widget, go to graph. And pretty much when we open it, when we construct this little widget, we're going to do something. What we're going to do is we're going to cast to the player controller and then tell it to display the mouse cursor on the screen. So get your event construct node, drag it out, and then just type in cast to player controller. And then as player controller, just set mouse cursor, uh, set show mouse cursor, and then just tick that and then hook it up just like this. And then under the object wildcard, once, to get, once again, what we need to do is cast to third, not cast to get player controller so yeah just type that in and you'll see it here get player controller and that is perfect cool so let's go ahead and test this now compile it press play give it a couple of seconds and it should pop up on the screen and there you are and you can see we've now out also got access to my mouse cursor you can see it on the screen if we press return to menu it's just going to go to the black main menu level and that's working great so we pretty much need to do the mouse cursor thing for the level complete screen as well so that it all works. So we're going to open up level complete, we're going to go into our graph, and then event construct, ignore this play animation, if you don't have this just hook this up to event construct, and then from here I'm just going to cast to player controller. Under the object wildcard I am just going to quickly hook this up to 
get player controller and then as player controller once again set show mouse cursor and tick this and then hook it up press compile press play and now if we go through this we've also got the mouse cursor here ignore the little animation that I've got there it's just me messing about I haven't actually shown that in any of the videos so you guys aren't missing out any on anything and then we can return to menu if we want to anyway guys that is pretty much everything for today's video we have got the out of get out of time screen working it is looking great there is loads more for the game and as always guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out <laughs>